and that, that's what that was a saying that they all, they told me when I forgot. Like, man, make sure you watch out for them sleeping giants, man. I'm like the sleeping giants. What the fuck does that mean? He was like, man, motherfuckers that's real quiet. Them be the deadliest motherfuckers. I was like, and then I seen it. Mm-hmm. A white boy stepped to a black dude. Called him all type of shit, man. So I said, I said, yeah, well, it's gonna be another racial ride. Black dude came to all of us. Black dude was from Florida, but he had moved to to uh, Baltimore. Okay. He came to us. He was like, yeah, look, y'all stand down, man. He like, y'all ain't got to get into this. He like, I'm going to take dude out myself. I'm like, what? A whole day went by. He came to us and said, hey, man, I'm all my stuff packed, man. Um, y'all just chill, man. Just watch my back. Don't make sure none of the other white boys come up there. Slid in the white boy's cell. The white boy's in there laying down. And all you hear is, ah, ah, get him off me, get him off me. Man, when that dude came out that cell, I'm talking about, it was, it was like five minutes. Five minutes seemed like 30 minutes, bro. When that white dude came out that cell, he was bleeding from head to toe, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, when we, he collapsed down the stairs. So now everybody on point now, because now the white boys see it. Now they ganging up. So all the blacks ganging up. And now the, the police running in there. Everybody get to the cells, get to the cells. Going by that cell, man, it's like a fucking massacre, man. Blood everywhere. Everywhere. He don't want to know with two knives taped to his hand. And gave the white boy the business, bro. I'm like, quiet dude. Very respectable. You don't see him getting into nothing, bro. So when a person straight up disrespect him. When a person disrespect him, he go. Without even thinking about it. I'm like, this is what he's like. See, I told that was a sleeping giant. I was like, God damn. I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, this shit is serious, bro. Yeah, it make you have to turn into somebody you think yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you could be a laid back dude, but you got to be ready Man, to go. Man, you got to be ready to go. And it's like, when we got into the shit, we, when we got into the, the riot, it was like, okay, all right, T, well, you known. Like, ain't no question about you. So now they kind of like designate you to be like over the unit. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, man, you over that unit. So, like, you run that unit. Anything go on, <clears throat> everybody need to come see you first. You know what I mean? If something go on in the unit, they need to come see you from Florida. So, I'm like, man, I say, man, I don't want that. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, man, I don't want that shit, man. He's like, man, you ain't, we ain't got no choice because there's only like four or five of you over there in that unit, and we need somebody that we know that's going to go. You know what I mean? To, to be over the unit. I'm like, man, I don't want that. I, I don't want that, bro. He's like, bro, we ain't got no choice. So I'm like, and bro, like, when I tell you, I was there in Kentucky, and then it's like it transferred over here to Coleman. Mm-hmm. And it was a lot of Florida on Coleman. And it's like a whole, it's like going up there, being up there with no numbers, and then coming to Florida where you got a bunch of numbers. It was totally different, and and I liked it better. Yeah, it was more violent up there in Kentucky, but it was just a lot of bullshit because there's so many of us from Florida that, you know what I mean? So I was like, damn, but I wish I was up there better, man. Now explain to me about the D.C. dudes. D.C. dudes, 